Howdy, I'm gonna give you a little bit of information on doing a Volkswagen Mark 7, which might be applicable to Mark 7 and a half and Mark 6 uh, Volkswagen clock spring replacement. So basically where it stands right now is I have the airbag removed. Um, I just went to the store and got the new clock spring replacement. Um, I suggest getting this from Volkswagen Direct to make sure that the clock spring that they give you is the direct one for your car. Alternatively, I think there's some options on Amazon and uh, other stuff. So anyways, so as I said earlier, I've already removed this. I put it back in so that you guys can kind of see exactly what I'm working on here. Um, this car is equipped with uh, the push button start and electronic steering column, which means that there is no key. So if you do have a key, you'll have to use that occasionally to um, lock or unlock the steering column. So on the back side of the steering wheel, there's a small clip that hooks onto the back side of the airbag assembly. So basically I'm gonna use a small screwdriver to pry that out um, and then give a little bit of a uh, prying levering action on the back side of the airbag assembly. Um, as I said earlier, if you are not comfortable with this, do not, do not, do not, do not do it. Take it to the shop, pay someone to do it. Here we go. Okay, so I've removed the uh, back side of the airbag out of the back side of the steering wheel. So this is effectively the small spring clip that you're trying to remove these little uh, uh clip spring barbs and then they hang on to those hooks back there so when the wheel is turned you'll be able to uh remove the spring with a screwdriver it's kind of difficult to portray through a video but um in person it's not so bad so um we're gonna make sure that the wheel is completely centered before we start disassembling anything um i've chosen a T55 Torx nut driver that fits in there well enough. It is not the exact part, but it is close enough. So now we have the wheel removed. And so we're gonna get at this little plastic piece, just kind of pry at it with a handle. Screwdriver here. Um, and so there is a better view of what we're working on. Um, so the main function, um, there's a lot of videos out here talking about this piece. Um, but basically as you turn the wheel, um, the steering column is stationary and the wheel uh, moves. And there we go. There are replacement screws if you buy the VW Direct um, package. So you can throw these away or keep them. I've got the clock spring just kind of sitting here in place. So there's one, two, three, and four uh, total connectors on at least this spring, clock spring. Um, so it just kind of pulls out in one piece. That's the old one. Um, you can. Hear that? Uh, let's see if we can hold it here. If you can hear that, but there's quite a lot of clicking and grinding, um, which is not 
the way that it's supposed to work. Okay, we're gonna go for a first start after the clock spring replacement on a Mark 7. And then clutch in, on. So we've got some errors going on here that a lot of them are from the uh, battery being pulled. So let's see if we can get rid of the steering one. some of them so we're going to go power off so we still have the airbag light on but um, the steering wheel functions are working and the horn is working so uh, might have to get on with the VADCOM and figure out exactly why the um, airbag light is still on 